Smart Summon is one of the newest features of the Tesla Model 3. It allows the car to come pick you up in parking lots all on its own. You don't have to drive it. You just pull out your phone app and let it come towards you. I've put up a couple videos of this so far. Uh, one of them testing if the car would stop if a person walked in front of it. And that one got a lot of attention and a lot more questions. People wanted follow up. Uh, they were asking if it would stop for small objects in a parking lot, if it would hit like a kid or a small animal or something. So I'm not sure if the sensors can detect things that are very low to the ground but I've been trying to think of a way to test how much damage it would do if it did hit uh, maybe your foot or something like that. I really think that the torque limit on Summon is very low. So if the tires come into any type of resistance, the car is just gonna give up. Uh, that way it minimizes damage to anything the tires maybe run into. So I've picked up a few things today and we're gonna see if first of all, the car will detect and avoid these things. And if not, if the tire actually comes into contact, if the car will stop itself before causing damage. So we're gonna start with things that are easy, like a banana and some eggs. I'm sure the car will destroy those, but we'll find out. And we're gonna move our way up to some harder objects. Of course, this pumpkin, because we're getting close to Halloween, uh, and some other things. So I have a bunch of different things I just picked up. We're gonna try these out. I'm in an empty parking lot, really no traffic here. I got a bunch of extra bags when I pick this stuff up so I can pick up my mess when we're done. Uh, but I think it'll be pretty interesting to see if the car will destroy uh, some of these harder objects. My guess is the tire's gonna come into contact with some of these harder objects and just stop immediately right there, causing minimal or no damage but comment below before you watch and let me know what you think is the car going to be destroying pumpkins and melons or is it only going to really hurt the eggs all right excuse any wind noise you may hear uh, i have my main phone on the ground taking slow-mo footage and i'm going to use my secondary phone to summon the car over um, i'm just going to use the target and i'm just going to try to make it go in a straight line now the problem is you can see hopefully you can see this it's trying to go in some weird zigzag pattern i don't know why it's doing that uh, but we'll try to make it work here all right, and here we go. Please don't turn. Yeah, I don't see don't. I don't know why it's backing up. It says it's going to go forward this time. And it's turning. All right, this time it says it's going straight. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, it pushed him out of the way. What the heck are the chances of that? So the egg is cracked. Um, that is insane. Uh, the car didn't notice at all, but OK, let's try again. Second egg undamaged. Let's do it. There we go. Oh yeah, didn't even notice. Ran it right over. Okay, eggs, car doesn't notice. Up next, we got the banana. Here we go. It's going to be just hoping the car hits it, pretty much. Yeah, no. Oh, dang it. Here, let's try it again. It's going to go right for it. Thank you. Uh, no, dang it. Here we go. Come on, hit this freaking banana. I had to fix it. But here we go. It obviously isn't noticing anything. Yep, and does not care at all. Ran right over it, and it, it made it to the target. That's why it stopped. Here we go, time for Apple. Uh, this is one where we're starting to get a little harder, and I think the car may start to notice this, um, at least when the tire touches it. Of course it's gonna, oh, actually it maybe had, might have avoided my phone there. Apple, take two. Okay, why, oh. was just dumb summon. I'm trying to get the car back to a good spot. That looks all right. All right, let's try again. Now I could, you know, of course just put the apple right in front of the tire, but I'm trying to give the car a chance to get to speed 
and then also give it a chance to detect these objects, um, which so far, of course, it's not doing. Time to run over the apple now. Here we go. What? Oh, man. This is really annoying. Why? Why is it going over there? And that's exactly where I had the apple last time. Oh, this is very frustrating. Well, it's obviously not detecting this apple, so I'm just gonna put it right under the tire so we can move on here onto some bigger stuff. Okay, and it crushed it without even noticing, as expected. Actually, that one I thought maybe it would kind of notice, but it didn't. All right, at least this time I got a really poor chance of missing. I've set up a row of apples there for two reasons. One, to see if the car can maybe detect that as a boundary and stop. And two, to see if the torque limit on Smart Summons acceleration will stop it from crushing them or once it feels them, you know, stop the car from moving forward anymore. Didn't notice at all. <laughs> and totally crushed them and bumped my phone. All right, something a bit bigger here, but still very soft. We've got a head of lettuce. Uh, I would assume the car, number one, is not gonna detect this at all. And number two, it's just going to run it over and not even notice. After this, we're getting to some of the harder stuff. All right, target's in the exact same spot. You would think the car will go exactly where it just went, but it's pretty unpredictable. Uh, okay, we can... Are you kidding me? That's where it just was. The lettuce was just... Oh, oh boy. Come on, same target. Just keep... Really? Really? Maybe it's avoiding the lettuce. No, it's, it's not. I refuse to believe that. All right, well, considering it's obviously not seeing the lettuce, let's just get this over with. Go to target and see if it will notice its tire is hitting something. Oh, just pushed it out of the way. One more try. <laughs> well, it's just pushing it, but point still stands. It didn't notice. Okay, so I'm gonna have to finish at home. You can see my bags here, filled with old used squish produce. Um, the round objects are just rolling away on me, so I'm gonna have to secure them, and I'll try to run them over at home and see if Smart Summon will stop for some of these harder objects. But for now, they're just rolling out of the way. The car is not noticing them. So here are our next victims. Only three more to try out. I did make sure all of these fit under the front bumper before we started, of course. And either the car, hopefully Smart Summon, will detect it's hitting an object and stop, or it'll just run it over. And then, lucky me, this is a private dirt road. Nobody lives here. There's no other houses. Um, so it's a great place to do controlled tests of Smart Summon. It does work on this road. It works pretty well. I have a video where I tested it out. It went all the way down that road and actually made a left turn. Um, so we can use this kind of a closed course to do this test. We'll do it one more time. If it doesn't detect the melon, we'll put it near the tire and see if the torque will stop the car from continuing. So it is being cautious here, but nah, just, just like nothing's there. So. Let's set this up. All right, hopefully this is the shot. I'm gonna go look at the screen in the car and see if there's any information on the screen while it's doing this. Still holding the button. 
Bam! Oh my gosh! Like nothing is there. Unbelievable. Oh man. All right, so moving on to the cantaloupe. I did a little reading online. This one is supposed to be closest to the consistency of a human head. So uh, let's try it out. Directly for it. Bam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like nothing again. Oh, oh, that poor guy. And let's just back it up with dumb summon. So this is not smart summon. This is the standard summon that goes only forward and backward. And see how the car handles that with just a little bit left there. Yep. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what it's... Okay, so it stopped. So it didn't give me any kind of error or anything, but it did stop. I guess that little bit of a bump was enough to stop it. So it seems like dumb summon is a little more sensitive to objects that are interfering with the tires than Smart Summon is. Yep. Oh. All right, the grand finale. We're gonna roll over this pumpkin. I do not have high hopes. I really thought the honeydew and the cantaloupe were gonna stop it, uh, and the car did not care at all. So let's just see what happens. All right, go to Target. Oh boy, man, we slid. Oh my gosh. The car slid and everything and just keeps going like nothing happened. Here is the pumpkin aftermath. Just like nothing was there car rolled right over it i gotta say i'm really surprised so as we finish up here um i'm just gonna back over these really quick because i want to see if i can feel them little little tiny bump there nothing oh yeah okay front wheel and the last one, no. So cantaloupe, even just the remnants left there, to me, it was very obvious that my tire rolled over something and I would have stopped right there. Um, so pretty interesting. I got a lot of requests that said, uh, see if it'll run stuff over, uh, if it's smart enough to know if that's happening and the car will stop. Uh, I think somebody said a cat. Well, let me know what you think of this test. Um, just watch Smart Summon. You should be able to see the car when you're using it. So for now, you should just be able to see if anything's in the way and stop it if it is. Overall, I hope you learned something. I look forward to reading the comments on this one. I think you guys are gonna go a little nuts. Um, but let me know if there's anything else I should test with this, uh, maybe a little more scientific, and I would love to get to it. This was, this was a lot of fun. Uh, so happy Halloween, and I will see you in the next video.